Um, all right. The rest of the group date was once again the mean girls being mean, talking about making fun of the new girls. They're the OGs. I don't like sometimes I can't tell what vibe I'm getting from MJ. I'm like, I think I like her, but then I'm not sure because she says shit where I'm like, get off your high horse. Like, that's when she was, you know, this is the varsity squad. Like, girls are getting one on one dates that don't deserve them. Like, Ugh. it's like, okay, all right, you're. I get it, you're frustrated, but now this is uh, a bad look. And Katie was on this date, and you could tell Katie was sitting there like, this is this is getting bad. This is, we're reaching new levels where like, now this is getting bad and I have to get Matt involved. And she went out and talked to Matt and basically said like, the bullying in the house has gotten so bad to the point where like, girls' reputations um, could be ruined. Like, ma major consequences outside of the show. And... He, you know, so she said that to Matt, and we got left with kind of a cliffhanger situation of what Matt will do with with that info that he just got. But normally, snitching gets you in trouble on this show. In this case, couldn't have been happier that Katie went to Matt and was like, "We've reached new levels. I hope like Katie almost seems like Matt's mole at this point. Like, he's just yeah, she's, she's a there. Bestie. Yeah, she's there to just like help Matt out because these girls are losing their mind, and he needs to hear it from someone." And it's Katie. Thankfully, Katie is the one stepping up. She is the only one of the only good souls on this show right now. And she is there to, I guess, kind of expose these girls. So we'll see what see what Matt does, because it does from the preview. It does look like we're going to see a lot of tears. I think the ones that have been saying mean shit are going to try and backtrack hard. Well, we have so many girls left right now yeah. that at some point something's going to have to happen where a lot of girls go home or they send themselves home. Like yeah. it gets to be too much. And I think this is probably the catalyst for that. You're right. Snitching usually doesn't work great right on this show. But as we've been talking about, like Katie is more like they're, they're friends. Like yeah. her and Matt are friends. And we had said that she'd be a great bachelorette. Like Definitely. she's going to have a great, going to run for it. Yeah. Definitely. She's going to have a great future uh, in this franchise. I don't yes. know necessarily see it with her and Matt, but so I think it's Riley, gonna... Riley, Riley was That's looking right. for her info on Twitter. That's right. You could, had said Bachelor yeah. in Paradise. That could, could be a, a great good couple. Could be a good Paradise matchup. I like that a lot. I do too. But so I think snitching in this case, it's going to alert Matt too. Because we've really got something going on in this show where it feels like there's more than one show going on. Where yeah. it's, sometimes Matt is hanging out with girls that seem really nice and great. And then most of the time, it's this whole other thing unfolding in the house where now they're split into different groups. The OGs and the right. new girls. And there's just all this drama happening. That It's like Matt's Matt, not even on the show. That's right. Sometimes. <laughs> it seems like it's this, this drama that's happening between the girls in the house is its own self-sustaining show. Yeah. And Matt just also happens to be there potentially dating a couple of them. Right. And I don't think that's sustainable no. where and once now Matt knows about what's going on, I think it's going to get sorted out and girls are going to start to go home quicker and the relationships are going to start to form. And that's going to be the biggest theme of the show, hopefully going forward, because I'm I'm very tired of Victoria and she seems mm -hmm. like the main cause of all of it. So the sooner she goes home, I think the temperatures will, will lower in the house and things will get back to a little bit of normalcy. Agreed. Agreed. I hope so, because we definitely reached that point. I think now... Or Chris Harris has got to come in and be like, okay, we got to cut these roses down. Like <laughs> we got yeah. to, we got to give out maybe thirteen roses at the next rose. Like five girls have got to go. Like let's cut the let's cut it to fifteen. We got to start <laughs> mm -hmm. breaking it down a little bit because now we're going into week five and there's still twenty women left. So <laughs> it's. Feels it feels insane. I think Matt um, James might be the one who's like Heather has <laughs> Heather hasn't oh, shown up boy. yet. So that's going to end up being <laughs> one of those deals where she's on screen for two minutes. They Heather's going to be like the Simpsons gift. She's going to walk yeah. in and walk. Yeah. Out. I, well, Not I Simpsons, feel so family guy. I no, feel Simpsons. so bad for. Yeah. Is it the Simpsons? It's the grandpa. Homer. Or yeah, it's Homer. Homer. Yeah. It's Homer. But is, I feel like there's one of family there's a, guy. There is well. a family guy, too. There is. Of him, like, Peter take, walks in, oh, oh, take, wait, walks out. I, I thought you were talking about Homer going into the tree, but I know the grandpa. No, Homer, but there's also the grandpa who cuts the hat, hat, yeah. hat and yeah. then takes walks it back out. Yes. Yeah. 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 All of those work. work. Yeah. All of those. She's, yeah, I, it's, it's been such a long tease, and now if she, I thought well, she was. Well, now gonna, they're doing Heather dirty because, right. like, they already brought in five new girls, and every girl lost their freaking mind. So, like, Heather is now set up for even more ridicule because they're going to be like, 
another girl and she's obviously been on the show before so they'll just freak I understand the ridicule towards Heather though because it's like oh Hannah Brown who's best friends with Matt James is bringing in her best friend to set them up with Matt James like that's what I would think of it as because I feel like that you know that's kind of what happened like I, I don't know I feel like why Heather you know, out of all out of all people, so I could see that Heather's thinking just set up about for failure. Like though, so was it bad. made clear in the That's teaser point, that yeah. we saw Heather that she's coming in to be a contestant, or could it be one where she's coming in to give advice? I think she's no, coming, she's in, coming as... in to be a contestant. Okay, one hundred percent. Okay, one hundred percent. That's um, wild that we have not seen her yet. Then, yeah, yeah, and then I think that basically wrapped it up for the for the episode. There's a couple things that I want to mention at the end, just bachelor wise. One, pictures of Sarah and her boyfriend are all over the internet of people freaking out. They're saying she's dating this guy. He's a DJ. Dating him before the show. Dating him after the show. The, this, the storyline for Sarah, like the timeline, <laughs> is getting more and more foggy. Just really seems like it's pretty obvious what, what her what her motives were at the time. Has she gone on any Bachelor-related podcast to clear the air? clear the story I don't think so. say what's going on because right now I'm, I'm with you I'm like yeah. confused about yeah. what's going on I don't think so she might have but I'm not I haven't seen her on any like the big the main big ones right. so I'm not totally sure um, and then I, this is a question for you guys did either of you see Dale's like Insta Instagram live or whatever it was statement of like now he finally like feels comfortable coming back to Instagram to like talk about the relationship. He didn't really say anything. Like it was very blah s- blanket statements of like things didn't work out and they wish the best for each other and like the whole shit. But I <laughs> could not stop laughing when he was like, I, I finally f- like feel ready to, to come on here and talk to you guys about it. I'm like, it's been six days. <laughs> yeah. Like you, ju- you guys just broke up. <laughs> like you're finally ready to come on and talk about it. Like nobody. Oh God! Nobody wants to just move on with his life and be like influencer Dale than than Dale. Right. That was my main takeaway. Where the way he viewed those stories and the way he, he signed off, to close the he was like, book. he was like, he's like, well, all right, I'm moving on. Yeah. Like, this is my Claire's still a, wearing her ring in pictures in public. You're you are absolutely right. He is just he is so ready for this whole thing to be over. Yeah. So he can finally move on to what he's been wanting to do. Yep. Which is just be single. And Dale an Instagram and NYC. Inf- yeah, Dale and NYC. <laughs> and I really think that he put up those Insta stories and he was like, I'm good. Yeah, like I I, I really it. think that felt like, okay, this is, we're going to close this chapter and now I can move on to being a single man. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Um, all right, I think that pretty much wraps it up. We'll be back next week to break down week five. And let's hope that, let's hope, Week five is the end of Victoria. It's got to be. She can't make it to week six. Kill her off. She can't make it to week six. Vote her off the island. Like, it's time. Honestly, Matt does it's not got- want her there. No. And like, this is what I'm saying. You can, Matt, the way Matt talks to like Michelle and you see the way he Matt talks to Victoria, it's <laughs> like, clearly this girl is here because she has to be here. Could it be more obvious? She's, she's got to go home next week. I would. I so, that too. would be. That's got to happen. Let's hope. All right, guys. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>